Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be stripping out what's left in the car. So, got the front door cards, rear door cards, um, a bit of stuff in the boot, and I've also got to take out everything that I put back in at the end of last video because it's in here for storage at the moment. But the main thing I'm going to be doing in this video is cleaning up the front door cards to see if I'm going to keep them or get a new set. Um, I'm going to strip all the doors down, take the windows out completely, clean up everything, re-grease everything. I'm probably going to be spraying and renewing some parts as well, such as the door handles on the outside, the window winders. Um, they're a bit knackered, like faded, so I'm going to spray them and lacquer them. But yeah, stick around and I'll uh, show you what's going on. Right, let's look at the doors then. So, in here, it's all manky, so I want to clean all that up, make that look spotless in there, because shutters are never nice. On this side, which is the passenger side, I've got the mirror um, adjuster missing, so I'm gonna need to get one, purchase one off of eBay. As I was saying before, these window winders are looking mank. All the black paint has faded off of them. They're just looking poor. They just need a bit of love, a lick of paint, and they'll look brand new. One more thing on this door card is it's starting to come away. You can see here, it's um, coming away from the back end, which I don't know if I'm gonna sort out myself because I know you can, like, seal them back up but I think I might get some new door cards I'm gonna clean this door card up anyway today um, and then I'll I'll decide if I want to get some new ones or some good second-hand ones apart from them faults this door card isn't actually too bad this lock on the exterior looks a bit manky so I'm gonna be cleaning that up as well cleaning up all of the shuts around here. This is what I was talking about, the exterior handle. You've got all of this crud around here, the lock. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be dealing with that. I probably won't. I'll probably deal with that when I come to detail the car. But this handle is all faded. So I'm gonna spray that black along with the window winder. One more thing I'm gonna be doing is taking out all of these rubbers for the window and cleaning them all up because there's all a load of shit growing in them. There's loads of moss. They just need a good clean. What I'm also gonna try on these is the stuff I tried in the other video that restores black, because I think these would come up really well, even though they are cracking a little bit. So I might renew them, I might not. I'll see how it looks once I've tidied them up a bit. Right, let's do some work then. I've got two Phillips to take out there. One there, don't know how I'm gonna get that off yet, but I'll soon find out. I'm pretty sure I've got another another screw behind there, um, or bolt, and that's all I can see for the moment, so we're just gonna do that and see where that happens. Just undo this now. Screw comes out. And that comes off. Pry this off. Once you got the little cap off, then that reveals another bolt or screw. Simple, all off, and ready to be painted. Oi oi, look at that. All cards off, all I had to do was undo, was take out the screw from there and one at the end over there. On the other side, it's just on poppers, so you just give it a good pull. This part of the door card's knackered. Someone's been at it before and absolutely mooded it, so I'll probably have to get one of these. For the exterior handle, you can see through here, there's one Phillips there and another Phillips there. Handle's now loose, but I can't get it off the hook or rod that's inside the door. So I'm gonna take off these bits of trim now. 
Now I'm gonna get this bit of trim off using this little pick. Now I can see how the handle's being held on. It's being held in by this clip, but I can't get a good enough angle to get it off. I found out how to get the handle off, but I'm just trying to find a way to show everyone watching. Right, first thing you need to do, get the handle, and you wanna put it in the upright, <laughs> just like that. So what I'm gonna have to do is, this one, we have to get it out of that recess at the bottom. So get a screwdriver in there, try and pop it out. There we go. Now that's popped out, we get a lot more leverage on it. That's made this really slack, so it literally just falls out. And then I can grab the handle the other side. And that's a Mark II with Fiesta handle out. <laughs> Bit of a pain in the ass, but got her eventually. I swear everyone was saying it was going to be nice weather in England this week. I'm going to get the mirror off because I want to get that, give that a good clean and a tidy up. So all it is, well, all I can see it is, is these two 10 mils. I've undone both of the nuts and I'm just trying to wiggle this plate off now. It's in a bit of an awkward position. There we go. I'm hoping this is just gonna come off. Yeah, boy, sorted. Yeah, see, look at this. It's got a bit of green shit on it. It's battered. But I reckon I can clean it up and make that look good again with the plate all I'm gonna do grab it and whack it out gotta remember which way it goes it goes that way I as well take the speaker out while I'm here have a little look at it check it's all right might clean it up a bit but it don't it doesn't really need cleaning because you're not gonna see the speaker might be just good practice too. I find it quite mad how little wiring goes into the doors in old cars. On modern day cars you've got wires coming in for everything. The mirrors, the speakers, electric windows, um, just literally loads of stuff. All the locks are electronically controlled. But I'm liking how simple these are to work on. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this mirror up now. I'm not gonna show you through the whole process again because you already know what I do. Let's just hope that this looks a bit better than it does now. To use this stuff, I put it on first really thick and wipe it and then I buff it off after about 10 seconds. That's got rid of quite a few of the smears but it's still got these bits around the edges. Um, can't get them off at all and it's also got a few deep scratches in it I'm gonna put the mirror back together because it didn't show me taking it apart right so first of all you've got this bit of trim and you want to put the mirror in the back of it flip it over it might take a couple of tries to find the right edge but yeah I found it already slot it in there not coming out because it's got tiny little lugs as you can see there there and there and it's got them on the other side as well so oi oi that's all sorted now all you have to do find the right corner so there's one corner like that and the other just smooth on there squeeze it together Overall, I'm kind of happy with how this come out. Um, it's not bad, but it's not perfect either. I'm gonna give this a once over, because I've just got it dirty again. Next, I'm gonna be removing this strip, which is 
looking pretty tired, worse than most of the other strips. So all I've got to do is up in here, there's one um, Phillips screw, I've already taken that out. So once the top part's loose, then you come down here by the door handle, you've got a screw there for the inside handle, but through here, there's another little Phillips there. Undo that, and this should just lift out. I've got this little quarter window pretty loose at the moment, but I just spotted one thing. It's a little clip here. All you've got to do is take the little triangle out of there. It's just slotted in. I thought it had little clips on the inside, but it doesn't. Boom. All the seals are out, the quarter glass is out. I've left the main bit of glass in because I don't need to take that out. Beautiful day in England. It's meant to be 28 degrees today. I've just got home from work, so I thought I'd give the Mark II um, some more work. Right, so I've got both of the handles off, but now I need to get the locks off and I'm going to show you how to do them now. The only thing that's holding the lock in is this little clip. You see it there? All you do is push that down. <laughs> Simple. As you can see, this is a clip that holds the lock in. All it does is just push up and, and then butt up to it. Right, now the clip's off at the top. You got this rod that connects it to the lock. So all, you, all I'm gonna do is unhook it from here. All you have to do is pull it out. Right, you see that's out of it now? That's completely hooked out. So now, you, all you have to do is just wiggle it. Wiggle this rod a bit so it'll come out. Got the rod out. Um, that's what it's like at the top, it's just bent at the top and at the bottom it's just clipped in like that um, just clipped in to the lock assembly so now I've undone the inside this should just come out I say should right you can get it out you just need to give it a good wiggle I've just managed to get it out now so there's a the lock Simple. All I'm gonna to use to rub these bits down is a bit of emery, emery cloth. And look, it's already taken it back to nearly bare metal. Um, also, I was gonna take these off. Actually, I might do that now. Get a bit of get a pair of pliers in there, twist that, and I think these ends should come off. I'm gonna quickly do that now. It's really simple how to do these. I've just done one, I'm gonna show you now. All it is, you've got that in the back there. Get, get a pair of long nose pliers. Grab it. Twist them. It just comes out. Simple. So now I don't have to spray these because they're good condition. Um, I'll silicone them up. Oh, and I can spray the metal bits. Right, first of all, just gonna give them a coat of primer. First coat's on. Looks pretty good, I'm pretty happy. No runs, but the can was spitting out a couple of like, big bits of paint, pissing me off. It's shit. But yeah, considering it's a uh, the hottest day of the year so far today. These should bake pretty well. I'm gonna leave them about five, 10 minutes um, to bake. 
and then probably do another coat of primer before I put the uh, black on. Second coat now on, looking really good, really happy with them. Just shaking up the uh, gloss pack black now. I did do a time lapse of spraying these from primer to gloss black, but my foot was in the way, so I've just looked at the footage. But yeah, this is the first coat. I'm probably gonna do three, just to make sure it's all good. But yeah, like I said a minute ago, really good having this weather, so you can bake the paint on. Um, you really don't wanna be painting in like anything below 15 degrees, because you're just gonna be knackered and it's gonna flake off. Uh, the first time you wash it. Right, I've given the parts about three coats now, so I'm gonna leave them to bake for about half an hour. Um, I just checked the weather and it's like 27 degrees now, so this is perfect for spraying. I've got all the handles and everything painted up, but I'm not really happy with them if I'm honest. Um, I'm a perfectionist, so when I was trying to fit this back on the lock, I got like a little chip on the top here, so I thought, oh, I'm going to have to spray it again. I've ended up spraying the handle again, and it's got now got a run in it, um, so I tried to fix a run, and then that's made it look even worse. So yeah, I'm not going to be fitting the handle back. However, saying all of that, the lock looks all right I've put this back but it still doesn't look perfect and also it's gloss black the thing with gloss black is well there's nothing else gloss back on the car <laughs> um, all of these trims are just like faded black um, these are faded but with a little bit of the silicone spray they turn a bit like satin black and my governor at work actually told me like I shouldn't use gloss black but I've used it anyway and now it looks pants so I've learned the hard way. I've just come into my garage to um, compare two handles. This is off my dad's Mark II van. You see these are satin, they've still got the texture on them, they're not faded, they've just been, I don't even think he's silicone them but they look really nice, blend in with a strip and the um, window strips. So when you put mine in the picture, they look absolutely shocking. <laughs> They're too bold. Um, they don't fit in with the rest of the black on the car. And yeah, it's just rubbish. So pretty much I wanted this video to be really good um, and successful. I wanted the handles to turn out all right. That's why I spent so long on this video. I know it's a long video and I didn't really get the results I wanted to, but that's what happens in life really. I've learnt my mistake, I should have done it in satin black because it would have looked, looked much better, but I didn't and they look naff. Where I'm gonna go from here is, I still need to do all the interior, clean it up um, and put it back, which I'll make a video on, probably won't be a long video, but expect that soon. I'm also gonna fit the handles back, even though they don't look good, uh, I'm gonna put them back just for the practical use at the moment and I'm also going to be on the lookout for another set because I was talking to my dad earlier and my plans for the handles anyway was to cut holes in them um, to like lose weight and like, I just think they look good but I never even done that and I just rushed ahead with it because I was so focused on getting a video out so yeah um, not the best end to a video but it happens it's going to shock it down in a minute so See you guys in the next one.